Fellow Catamounts, it's been just over a month since we safely reopened campus. And while it's certainly not the time to take a victory lap, we can feel justifiably proud of doing something many predicted was not possible. Think about the scale of what we accomplished. In the past two months, we've administered 65,000 COVID-19 tests with less than a 0.05% of the results being positive. That's 1 20th of a percentage point. And to achieve these results, we instituted infrastructure and operational changes, the likes of which we've never seen before. More than 450,000 face masks and face shields, 17,000 pairs of safety glasses, almost two miles of plexiglass safety shield, around 4,000 gallons of hand sanitizer, and more than 40,000 safety signs. The numbers are certainly impressive. But even more impressive is the way we have achieved them. So many members of our community, our faculty, our staff, our students, and countless other partners, all working together toward a common goal. I've heard it called a team of teams, and what a force it's proven to be. We've converted spaces to provide socially distant classrooms, developed new and creative ways to deliver coursework, and worked with our graduate and professional students to help them stay on track and meet requirements. At the same time, we've continued to make strides on so many other fronts. We have more than 350 labs and 70 field projects in operation, and over three dozen clinical projects have resumed. We've been awarded coveted NIH and NSF grants to further boost our research efforts, and we continue to push forward in the area of sustainability while strengthening our resolve to honor all voices. So I thank you for all you've done. By staying true to our common ground principles, our students have the opportunity to be on campus, and our city benefits from their presence. As Dr. Fauci mentioned, Vermont has set a strong example of what can be achieved when we follow the science and work together. But we cannot become complacent. We will continue to test and follow precautions as long as our public health experts say it is necessary. We will continue to partner with our elected officials and local community. And with your help, we will complete our fall semester successfully and be back on campus February 1st for the start of spring semester and many bright days to come. Be well. <laughs>